best-selling author Jay Onrate from the Jane Dan show on TSN and the wildly popular Jane Dan podcast. That's uh, right. Cool. That's so, right. If you have any questions, and please put them in the comment section. I mean, the question card because our editor cannot read the read that good. So put it in the comment card or put in comments or question cards. <laughs> But mostly the question card. Might do Perfect. some of them, yeah. but we might not. Any questions you guys have, I'm ready to answer them. And here's my daughter, Isabel. She's just wandering around. Yeah. So this week... Wandering is good. This week awesome. on the podcast, Dan did not seem comfortable with talking about bowel movements. We wanted to know... We wanted <laughs> to know... We wanted you to know that you, we, you can discuss them here, but I don't think the fans will be okay with that. Okay. Has Stoff ever recovered from the podcast tour to re- visit to Regina? Yeah. How's the video? How's the video? Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, Dan is never comfortable talking about those types of things, so I'm not surprised he wasn't comfortable, but we had to talk about it because it was an issue that was affecting me at the time. Like, sometimes... Um, Sometimes, Tom, like, if you talk about something, maybe Bob doesn't want to talk about it, but you talk about it anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Like him yeah, talking about Fortnite. Go. I talk about that. <laughs> yeah. me talking you know about what I mean, right? can. But it's yeah. very similar. Like, I feel like you guys have a similar dynamic to what Dan and I have. Tom talks about whatever he wants. I talk about whatever Tom wants me to talk about. So. That's fair. So, well, so with Grey Cup 2020 now being a wild cup card of where where it will be, do we meet there? So you guys are still welcome in 2022. I said that right. So oh, you mean to come to Re- you mean come to Regina? Yeah, because uh, they're gonna postpone. I know, but you know, there's still a chance if the Rough Riders have the best record, then they could still host the Grey Cup this year. And they could host it next year, too. That would be pretty awesome. Like, you know, I mean, I would stay at your house, but I really like the uh, the Hotel Saskatchewan. And, yeah. uh, and so I think I'll send Dan to stay with you guys, and then I'll stay in the hotel, and then we'll all meet up together for lunch. How about you? There's about a whole that? bed down here. There's actually, there's a set. Seriously, right here. And this, and is oh, perfect. Perfect. That's, this is our business. This is our business. That's perfect for Dan. That seems like Dan's size of bed. I'm sure Dan is watching this as we speak, so he's probably just preparing to, to come over to your house right now and chat with you guys. He'll love the cats. You know Dan loves cats. Should we lock the doors? Yes, lock him in there. See how, how he does with those cats. You, Jeffrey asks, when you and Dan hang out socially, what do you talk about other than work? Great question. We usually talk about food, music, TV shows. I would say books, but Dan can't read. So, yeah, stuff like that. Just the regular stuff that everyone talks about. Um, Sometimes Dan likes to tell me uh, about problems that he's having, uh, having to cook all the time, and he wishes he could go to a restaurant and sit down and and eat. can't do that in Toronto right now. But other than that, yeah, it's just like probably the same kind of stuff that you guys talk about. Fortnite, that kind of stuff. We talk about nothing, really. We don't really talk to anybody. Okay, I'm not sure. We don't casually talk to each other. It's kind of weird. But Cook51 said, hi, Dan. This is not Dan. It's Jay. We just right. wanted yeah, to put that I'm up. I'm Jay. And but you know what? Friend- that happens... That happens to me all the time, guys. It happens all the time. Like, does that happen to you yeah. guys? Do you ever get mixed up for each other? Yeah. We keep on telling yeah. our receptionist that, like, the receptionist at our school that I'm Bob and he's Tom, but she always mixes it up. She, she actually right. died one time. I was really proud. Right. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's like, um, I just get used to it after a while. Like, sometimes I'll be walking down the street and people will be like, hey, Dan. And I will, I'll just be like, hey there. I won't correct them because it's just like, yeah, you know, it's nice that they watch the show. Sure, they don't know my name, but it's not important. What's important is that they're watching They the know show. who one of you are. 
At least they know That's who right. you are. How are your daughter? That's right. So you had to, your daughter Isabel. And That's Isabel how, right there. What's that? How old is she? Four. Oh, is it, uh, you meant to say instead of say hi, you meant to say hi, like hi. Oh, oh, tell yeah. her Bob say hi. Can you say hi? Say hi. Mm. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. How are your we daughters adjusting to the show coming? From oh, your home? can I mention one, guys? Can I mention one thing? It's her birthday this week on Wednesday, so she's what? gonna be five. We have a special one, maybe. We'll send a birthday, <laughs> we'll send a birthday video. <laughs> what? So you guys have to do a collab one day, you know, like a collaborative video or something like that. That'd be cool. Sure. Oh my. Yeah. Actually, I think we can inspire other people to, like, other young people to interview. I agree. I agree. How are you guys handling you? Uh, being away from school? Actually, pretty well. Workbooks yeah. seem to be the answer. Um, and computer work. Right. And how are your daughters adjusting to the show from your home and the playroom being the set? Uh... How do you? How are you adjusting to Daddy doing a show in our basement? Never. Okay, well she said never, but I'm doing it, so I guess I'm. It's so funny, Daddy. Yeah, so I think she's not thrilled about it, but uh, these are the things we must do to get the show to the air, guys. And I gotta say, I really like the commute. It's nice to just walk down the st down the stairs to get to the set rather than drive all the way to uh, Scarborough outside of the city. Oh, is she mad, really mad about the etch sketch Well, you know what? We had to order her a new etch sketch because I took over her old etch sketch So we had to order her a new one because I was using it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. etch sketch is great, though. I really like using it on the show. <laughs> is it nice producer Tim stays away or is he outside of your house smoking? Oh, no, he's not outside of the house smoking. That's an excellent. I'm not surprised that people would think that. But no, he lives uh, a ways away from me in the outskirts of Toronto. So there's no danger of him being anywhere near me. Um, I think it's actually more Dan and producer Tim who sometimes butt heads a little bit. So it's actually probably better for them to be further apart. For me, I'm just sort of a, I'm the middleman. Okay, are you planning on writing a third book? book? Uh, I don't, not right now, not right now. Maybe, maybe at the end of my career in, uh, well, it could be any day now. Uh, so yeah, so maybe I am. I'm not sure. It's kind of uh, up in the air right now. But uh, right now I'm just worried about uh, making sure the kids are homeschooled and uh, fed and watered. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm doing right now. And just enjoying uh, what is one of our only nice days here in Toronto since, uh, since the start of the year. Yeah. We had a day once, so I was, it was really warm, and I was staying inside watching TV, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so hot outside, because we had the window open to dry some yarn, right. and I was like, now I have to go outside. Right, yeah, exactly. You gotta get outside while you can, you gotta enjoy it. Can yeah. we get more trick shots, Jay? Sure, here's a trick shot. Oh, there, that's it, that's all you got. Is that what he meant? I don't know. I think... I think he was talking about our golf segment we did. We did a little uh, golf segment from home in the basement. Do you guys ever do that? Play golf inside? You guys should try that. At Rob no. Peterson's office, we did, actually. Yeah, we actually yeah. played golf in Rob's, Rob Peterson's office. Oh, oh nice. He's Rod, shit. he's a good guy. Yeah. Shout out to Rod. Yeah. Shout out to Rod. Because he actually interviewed his producer. So, yeah. Okay. What's, Next. Oh, what's his name? What's his producer's name again? Clark. Clark. Producer that's Clark. right. Yes. Yes. Right. Good guy. Good guy. Everyone in Saskatchewan's a good person, I think. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Shout out to the Vic Tavern. You guys can even go there. That's the great thing about the Vic Tavern. Have you guys ever gone there for lunch? Nope. Not yet. All right, Dad. Not yet. Let's get on it. Everyone That's where we'll all meet. We'll meet there for lunch when the riders make the Grey Cup this year and host it. Hopefully. Um, 
Yeah, everyone except Re Regina Goose here is nice. Actually, I saw Regina Goose in Minnesota. I wonder what he was doing there a couple of years ago. It was Wait, there's a, there's a Regina Goose and the Canada Goose? Are they different geese? I don't know. It's the Canadian Goose. Okay, Canada Goose. Yeah, yeah, right. Canada but we, we call him a Regina Goose because Regina is the center of the universe. Did you comb your hair goose. for this? What's that? Say that again? Did you comb your hair for this? No, I didn't. I didn't. Do you want to see? Look at this. Whew. Pretty rough. It's, uh, Bob's hair is really growing rough. out, fellas. My hair is actually oh, not up. too bad. I don't mind it I because I don't really care about my hair, really. I care about it. It looks horrible. At my no. age, fellas, I'm just happy to have some. Any new hobbies? What's that? What was that last one? Any new hobbies during COVID nineteen, like baking bread? Great question. Um, no, we. You know what's neat, guys? We have a bakery in my neighborhood called Prairie Boy Bread. It's a guy from the prairies who moved to Toronto to show Torontonians how bread should be baked. And it is fantastic. So I have no reason to bake any bread because the Prairie Boy's doing it for me. He is from Winnipeg, so that might not go as well as oh, with the Regina folk. But anyway, um, so no, no bread baking. I listen to records a lot, a lot of vinyl records. I listen to that stuff. Do you guys know what that is? Vinyl record? Yeah. yeah. I think so, kind of. Something you put yeah, on like something the, yeah, like the music. I know what you put it on the turntable, you put the needle on. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Sir. My friend, uh, my friend Alex Strand is asking if I'm quarantining in Regina, but no, you guys are in Regina and I'm in Toronto. Yes. That's right. And it's good. Any, it is good. Any good? Anything good you would recommend on vinyl you have found? Vinyl. 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 What is vinyl? Uh yeah, great question. Okay, I just bought a new record. And I feel like if you're a country music fan, you would like this too, because I know there are a lot of country music fans in Saskatchewan. Um, it's a, a girl named Katie Crutchfield, but her band is called Waxahatchee. Can you guys say that? Waxahatchee. Waxahatchee. I don't yes. like country music. I think it's awful. It's not country. It's like country rock. It's like rock with a little country tinge to it. But it's really good. That's what I would recommend. Her new record, who, Saint Cloud. Who produced it? I'm not sure who produced it, but uh, there is another band called Bonnie Dune who plays uh, on it. Uh, someone just asked me, "Will I be heading to Cottage Country later this summer?" Who's uh, actually working uh, uh, the unofficial mascot for the Regis School Nights? I always nail nail that. And the question. Oh, what was the Would question? Would be heading to Cottage. Country. Country. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're gonna stay in the backyard. We're gonna self isolate. We're gonna try to. Um, we're gonna try to stay, keep the kids st safe, and stay safe. So yeah, I think we're just gonna blow up the kiddie pool back here and hang out for the summer. Yeah, like everybody else. Yeah. Tom, do you joke? Have you watched the B movie yet? The which movie? B movie? Oh, is that yeah. the movie that Dan loaned me? Yeah. I still haven't seen B movie. Guys, check out this hair. Who do you think I look like? I don't know. A guy who's everything is lost everything. <laughs> you look like Bob if you've been quarantined for twenty years. Right, exactly. I look like Bob in twenty years. Bob, yeah. this is what you're gonna look like. I'm sorry, but it's this this is what's gonna happen to you. I'm sorry. Jack is okay. I actually want uh <laughs> I actually, I want, I like messy hair because I don't have to do anything with it. Actually, right. I just don't do anything with my hair. I don't really care about it. Jacko Beef That's asks, good. when are you getting Funko Pops? I don't know. What's that? Like collectibles. Oh, these. Oh, like the pop, uh, right. Those pop characters. I don't know. I've never bought one of those. Isabel, how are you doing? I'm uh, good. She's in the conversation. Do you have a question for Bob and Tom? 
She doesn't have a question. She's uh, right here, right here. Okay, right here. what is your question? She, she's going in the pool. <laughs> right there, right okay. here. What? Will you and Dad be made? Will you and Dan be made into Funko Pops? Like, oh, that would Funko be Pops. awesome! What a great idea! Uh, you guys should um, send a tweet to TSN and tell them they should do that. That'd be a great promotion for the next trade deadline day show, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, and you can keep them at. You can just hold them up, and they'd be like, buy this. Okay. I love it. I love it. Well, fellas, I I, I better run because uh, my friend here uh, wants to go swimming. So uh, oh thanks for thanks for having me. We have a few more questions. Nope. That... Oh, wrap it up. You gotta go. A couple more <laughs> questions? Okay, let's go quick. We'll do rapid fire. Read any good books lately? Yes. Uh, Haruki Murakami's... Um... I've read a, a, a color, colorless Suzuki Sakaru. That's a good one. Thank See you for joining okay, us. Thank bye. you for, Thank letting you for having me, guys. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Have fun in the pool. Have fun at the pool. In the pool. <laughs>